Hi, Aaron here from Superior Singing Method, and this is Singing Exercises to Improve Voice. Okay, singing exercises to improve voice. Uh, I want to tell you a quick little story here. I was in a singing choral group when I was 17, and there was this coveted solo. Everybody wanted this solo. It was a certain song, because we, we sang the same, so same songs every time. And so there was this one solo that I really wanted, but it was a high note. It was really just out of my range, but I was like, if I really force it, I can get it. I could push it, and I can get that. So they gave me the, the, the solo for this particular show, and I was super excited. And I got out there, and I was like, I was singing the song, singing the song, got to that note, and I was just like belted it out. I was like, bah! and it was the worst thing you've ever heard in your life. I told what I here's what I did is I tried to hit that note by like, huh! like powering it out. I could get it with um, when I'm still in my chest voice because I wanted to sound big and full, but it just sounded well. It sounded as bad as it could possibly sound. And so um, I want to talk a little bit about how to how to connect in a different kind of way, how to create different habits for the vocal cords that will allow you to hit those high notes without all that stress and without all that strain. Um, one way to do that is with, a, with an NG sound, like the You can hear that kind of pharyngeal in there. That NG sound, so instead of like what this NG sound does is it, it cuts off the mouth as a resonator, like the uh, that kind of sound. Mm, it cuts it off as a resonator. It mostly comes through your nose. Now, obviously, you're not going to sing like, mm, like that, but what it does is it creates muscle memory in your vocal cords that allows it to remember that it's got to let go. It teaches them to let go of that, hey, because when we sing, you know, because this is chest voice here, hey, the tendency is to want to be like, hey, and the, it doesn't want to let go of that musculature that's all that chest voice. Hey, it doesn't want to let go, but when you that, mm, it gets more, hey, so it can get nice and loud, but it's not, it's not that chest voice and it's not that, not that strain. So when you do that NG, that, mm, it helps you know where to place that voice so it's not it, that, that habit of pulling up that chest voice. It doesn't, it, it's, it's not doing that. So you kind of shift that resonance to a different place in your vocal tract. It's from that, hey, see that, that's what they call that, um, that, that forward resonance. So you get that, kind of that smooth transition between two, but allow your vocal cords to let go, to flip into that higher notes so that you can sing those higher notes and not, not have all that strain. So that's all I got for you on this. Um, hopefully that'll help you out. Uh, click the link below. And you can find my favorite vocal exercise and some other fun free things. And you can find Superior Singing Method, my uh, systematic vocal program. It's an eight week step-by-step -step, shows you exactly what to do and when to do it to build the voice that you really want. And uh, leave me a comment. A lot of these, a lot of this content comes from what people ask me to bring them. So um, hope you're well. And if you're feeling discouraged about singing, I just want to say one more day, just one more week, just two more weeks. Keep pushing forward because there's a lot of discouraging points about being a singer. But I, I just want you, as I've said before, believe in your bigness. There's more in you than you realize. So you can press on just a little bit longer. Okay, have a great day. I'm Aaron. Talk to you soon.